Hey guys, and welcome back, man. Uh, Wednesday, uh, another week has gone by, man. And um, today, what I want to talk to you about is uh, gym, getting back into the gym after a long hiatus, or maybe for the first time ever. Uh, how do you do that? How do you stay motivated? How do you um, deal with the fact that there will be uh, some setbacks? And if you're like me, and you haven't been in the gym since the lockdown on pretty much everybody in this nation, um, then there's going to be a lot of setbacks, man, and staying motivated can be very, very difficult, right? Um, so how do you do that, man? How do you get back in that gym? What does that look like? Uh, how do you stay motivated? And um, you know, what are the mechanics of doing that in a way that uh, is safe, right? And can get you back to where you need to be uh, as soon as possible, man. Uh, here's what I'm gonna tell you. As with everything, everything in your life, um, everything is mental, right? So here's what I did to start preparing myself, right? Uh, I knew my gym was going to open up uh, June 19th. I knew that was gonna happen about a week or two in advance of that date, right? Uh, in prep for that, right, as soon as I knew the date, right, I started to work on my mental state, right? I knew after three months of not being in the gym, I was going to be uh, much, much weaker than I was uh, when I had just gone into lockdown, right? Um, and I tried to prepare myself mentally for that, right? And start making some checklists, right? Of things I knew I needed to try and do, right? So the idea there was to uh, basically start over, right? Try to figure out where my um, you know, maximum potential would be, uh, where my 80%, 70% would be, um, and then try to focus on uh, safety lifts at the very beginning, right? Um, here's the deal, right? Even if you mentally prepare for that type of stuff, uh, it's still going to hit you like a ton of bricks when you come into the gym for the first time, right? Um, for instance, uh, one of the things I used to do uh, on my heavy day for, uh, let's say, chest, right? I would do old-fashioned barbell bench press, right? Uh, I could do that for about five uh, reps at 315 pretty easily, right? Um, and then work from there, right? Uh, when I got back to the gym, I decided to safety just load 225 on the bar. Let's see what we can do, right? I really struggled to get that for 10, right? Um, really struggled, right? And before, I could get that for almost 20, right? Um, so that that's a problem, right? Uh, and, and when you get like that, when you actually feel that, um, you know, it doesn't matter how much mental preparation you've done, it still is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Although, if you've mentally prepared yourself, you won't be as devastated by it, right? So, uh, what I'm going to tell you is just be mentally prepared when you first get back into that gym uh, to be weak compared to what you were at before, right? Um, and if it's the first time you're in the gym, just be prepared to be weak, man. Uh, just is what it is. It's not a big deal. We all start somewhere. We all have to start back somewhere. No big deal, man. Keep plowing through it. Here's what I'm going to tell you. When you first start back in the gym, what you're going to want to do is go extraordinarily light, right? Go much, much lighter than what you're even thinking in your head, right? Um, because what you're going to find out is you're going to be extraordinarily uh, sore. It's going to kill you, right? Uh, the soreness is going to be there for weeks, right? Two to three weeks of soreness um, as you're working yourself back into the routine, right? Which means uh, forget 80%, forget 70%. Go to 50, go to 40%. Right, do the lifts, do them right, do them proper form, right? Um, and just accept the fact that it's going to be lighter weight, it's going to feel uh, you're going to feel weaker, uh, and you're going to be very, very sore, right? If you'll do those things, right, then you can safely work your way back into the gym, right? Um, it's not going to be what you want to do, right? There's going to be that nagging voice in the back of your head telling you, lift heavy, lift heavy, lift heavy. Do not listen to it, right? You need your body to get back into this routine before you start making that climb again. What I'll tell you is if you're on any supplements of any kind, get rid of those uh, for the first few weeks, right? Muscle memory will kick in. It will come back. Um, when that happens, you can start working those uh, supplements back in with the exception of maybe a protein powder or something like that. Um, do not start doing um, all other kinds of uh, shit like creatine and all that kind of crap. Uh, keep that out of your system for a while. Uh, let your natural body work back into it. Once you get to the place where you don't have the soreness anymore, you're able to get through your full routines and all that kind of thing and you just need to get your strength back, then you can start working in other supplements uh, into it, right? Uh, again, with the exception of maybe like a protein powder. Um, anyway, man, that's what I've been doing over the last week or so. Uh, it has been helping a lot. Um, I am noticing some muscle memory coming back. Uh, some of the strength is coming back very slowly. Uh, I will probably keep doing that over the next
next few weeks. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I think that's the best way forward, man. That's the way I've always worked it back in since my competition days. So uh, keep that in mind. You've got to really work up here, man. Get out of your head. Stop telling yourself you're weak. Understand it is a process just like everything else. It will come with time. Anyway, guys, that's it for today, man. Like and subscribe. Leave me some comments, man. Let me know what's going on with you guys. And as always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.